Okay, so here is the uh, final result. The computer is, as you can see, wireless, as wireless as you're gonna get with the Dymo 4XL. We're going to hit print, and look at that. This one went a little bit faster than the Mac, but it did print wirelessly, well, from the router, from the network server. Sorry, we're gonna interrupt that really peaceful music to get real. The Dymo sucks. I have many issues with this printer from price to build quality to customer support problems and proprietary labels. But we're gonna save all of that for another video. I just wanted to make an announcement. I don't recommend that anyone go out and buy this printer because I'm showing you this wireless tutorial. Just don't, it's, a, it's not a good printer. But if you already have one like I do, might as well make it wireless. So the way that this even works is through a USB network print server. It's very crucial that you have a router that has a USB port. If you don't have a router with a USB port, this isn't gonna work. They do sell print server accessories on Amazon. That's another 30 to $100 that you're putting on top of your already expensive stupid Dymo printer. I don't really recommend that because you're just sinking more money into this old printer that's overpriced from 2004. I'm assuming that you've already hooked up your Dymo. You know how to plug in the power and the USB stuff and you've already installed the printer on your computer and it already works with the USB. But after you do that, you're going to wanna unplug it and then plug it into the USB on the router and then get on your computer. You're gonna open up a browser we go to our router settings, which for specifically to my router is 192.168.1.1. This may vary depending on your router make and model. So check your user's manual or go to Google to find out how to get to your router settings. You're also going to need your admin credentials. A lot of the times default admin username and password, such as admin as the username and then admin as the password or admin as the username, admin1234 or admin and then the actual word password. So it just depends on the make and the model or if you've changed it to make sure you have your credentials, sign into your router. And here's our dashboard. We are using the Asus RTAC68U. I will put a link to this in the description if you want this router. I know it works with Dymo. It is not cheap, but it is an excellent router. This is a USB 2.0 port right here. It's already recognized our Dymo Label Writer 4XL. We're gonna to go to USB application right here. Network printer server is what we're working on. We're basically converting the USB into a network printer server signal so we can use it from our Windows computer. And Asus specifically has this really nice utility that you can download that will pretty much install the printer for you. So we're gonna install that really quick, open up the application, install it, it does its magic. It's saying exactly what it's doing. It's taking the USB signal going into the router and then kind of turning it into a uh, wireless printer. And it just runs, it's magic. Finds the devices, installs the devices. It's gonna launch the Dymo software for whatever reason it does that. But we just close, hit finish. We're gonna close the software. And then if we go down here and type in printers and scanners, we can check and we have indeed a Dymo 4XL installed. Before we use the printer, we're gonna to go to Manage, Printer Preferences, Advanced, and we're going to change the paper size to a four by six, 17.44907 printer size, hit OK, OK, and we're going to print a test print, sample label right here. Okay, so here is the uh, final result. The computer is, as you can see, wireless. As wireless as you're gonna get with the Dymo 4XL. We're going to hit print. And look at that. This one went a little bit faster than the Mac, but it did print wirelessly. Well, from the router. From the network server. And there is another way to do it if you happen to have a router that's going to use LPR protocol. 
we're going to uninstall the printer that we just installed with that nice Asus application. We're gonna remove that. And this is how we're going to install it by hand. And that's only if you didn't have this luxury right here. We're gonna go there and it gives us pretty much the instructions of how to do it. We're going to add a printer and a scanner and it picks up my brother, but that's not what we're trying to install. So we go, it's not listed. We wanna to go to add a local printer with manual settings. We're gonna create a new port, standard TCP IP port, hit next. Host name or IP address, I believe that is the same as our router, 192.168.1.1. This is going to vary depending on your router, so. Query, yes. So we're gonna let that run. This is gonna take a little bit. And this is goes for, I don't know, about two or three minutes. Okay, so then we want it to fail. It says it's not found, so we go to custom, go to settings, going to LPR, and then the queue name is LPR server. I'm not sure why, it says it in these instructions. So that's what we do. Go to okay, hit next. Now it's gonna go around again for, I don't know, a couple minutes. And it says it's detecting our driver, but it didn't really. We're gonna go to manufacturer Dymo, scroll down to the 4XL, hit okay, hit next, next. And we're gonna call it wireless Dymo. And share it, sure, finish. It opens up the Dymo software again, which I don't like. And we'll go to printers and scanners. And there we have, oops, right there is the wireless Dymo. We're gonna manage it again, printing preferences. Go to advance and then pick the four by six, 17.44907, hit okay, okay. We can print a sample label. and it should print perfectly fine, just like the other way. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you wanna connect with me, the best place is in the comments section or on Instagram. I hope this helps somebody. Please don't go out and buy a Dymo 4XL new. There are, there's better printers out there. So we'll be releasing more printer content specific to other people's needs and solving tutorial problems within the next couple of weeks, in addition to other content that will be on this channel. So I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks again, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.